Hey everybody, Tim Anderson here, aka Renfell. Welcome back for another Star Wars Yield Republic game guide video here. Uh, if you have been around my channel for a while, I do these from time to time. I played a lot of Star Wars Yield Republic over the years. It's a pretty much a mainstay on my channel along with Lord of the Rings Online and a few other old MMORPGs. And today we're doing the updated version of the character creation guide for 2023. Specifically, I'm recording this on March 9th of 2023. So this is the current character creation process as of this date. If you're a returning visitor, you know all the things, but if you happen to be new here, before I turn the camera off and get into the actual guide part, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. I do a lot of different guides for different RPGs, MMORPGs, and beyond tabletop games. I do TV shows and film reviews and so much other stuff, so check out all the channels here. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and kill the camera, and we're just going to get into the character creation process here uh, for if you're going to be creating a brand new character now. In this case, we're not going to be creating a character for Onslaught and Legacy of the Sith, Sith, excuse me, because that would create a boosted character. What we want to do is we actually want to create a character from scratch for Star Wars Old Republic, which is the base game, which is a level one character. Now, it's kind of the same thing, but there's some level differences if you're going to do the new ones. But let's just do this. Create a character. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to take us to the screen where we choose our alliance. Now, this doesn't really matter too much other than role play and story so you're either going to be able to play one of four origin stories on the republic side the galactic republic side or you'll be able to play through four origin stories on the sith empire side now origin stories are simply the what used to be the sort of archetypes um, but these days are just called origin stories because they are the 25 hour ish uh, storyline branches. So there's a storyline for the Jedi Knight, the storyline for the Jedi Consular, also a storyline for the Smuggler, and a storyline for the Trooper. It's about 25 hours for each storyline. If you go over to the Sith Empire, it's the exact same thing. You'll get about 25 hours per storyline. Each one of these origin stories is unique. So even though you'll be going to the planets that you go to with other characters, you will get a completely unique adventure depending on if you're an Imperial Agent versus a Bounty Hunter versus a Sith Inquisitor versus a Sith Warrior, so on and so forth. So we'll go ahead and, and go back to the Republic side just because I fancy the Republic side. Um, so let's say I wanted to pick a Jedi Knight character. Um, once I pick the character... Um, the origin story they don't want to play through. We get the breakdown over here. The Jedi Knight is a valiant defender of the Republic. Champions of peace and symbols of hope in dark times. The Jedi Knight stands for the legacy of the Jedi Order. But now I have options down here of the style. Guardian. Sentinel. Sage. And Shadow. Yeah, you'll notice that each one of these comes with a different type of lightsaber build. Also a different stance and a different breakdown. So the Jedi Knight, uh, if you chose the Guardian, um, the Guardian is someone who stands firm in the face of overwhelming odds and dares opponents to attack. And they are either a tank build, or they could be a damage over time build or a direct damage build. But they wear heavy armor. Um, pretty awesome, the Jedi Guardian. Um, but you can also choose to be a Sentinel, which uses two lightsabers, and it's a purely a damage dealing class, a damage dealing style, I should say, of the Jedi Knight. The Sage can be a healer, or it can also be direct damage or damage over time. And then you have the Shadow, who can either be a tank build, or they could be an Infiltration, which is a direct damage and stealth build, or a damage over time, which is a stealth build as well. Um, so you have the four different options of styles that you can choose from within the Jedi Knight origin story, and then with e within each one of the styles, you have three different um, branches you can choose from for how you want to play that style, whether it's you know the tank build, the damage over time, or the direct damage damage build. Now, the same thing applies if you're going to be creating... Sorry, I clicked back on accident. Um, the same thing applies if you're going to be a trooper as an example, but you do get more styles available to you. For those of you who have played the game since the beginning, you'll remember that the styles used to be locked to the origin stories. Uh, that's no longer the case, so the trooper as an example gets access to 
all of these different styles when they used to only get access to the commando and the vanguard that's something that came with the legacy of the sith expansion in 2022 and is carried forward into the current game as it stands in 2023 but let's just say we wanted to create a smuggler here all right nothing wrong with a smuggler i want to do a gunslinger i could charm the horns off a crate dragon yeah we'll, we'll click a male character um definitely choose gunslinger i don't know Operator, yeah, Vanguard. I, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with this. What's this? One? What's the shotgun? Yeah, that's that's the shotgun one. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's do Gunslinger. All right. So once you have made your origin and your style selections, it's now time to create your first character. Now, you'll notice that um, when you get in here right off the bat, most of these are going to be locked. Most of the races are gonna be locked unless you have unlocked them through extensive gameplay through the legacy um, perks and other things that allow you to unlock them. Um, otherwise, you just have access to the the, three, the humans, basically the cyborgs. And, and I don't even remember what this one is called, to be honest with you. Um, they're not actually showing the names of the species anymore um, up at the top. But um, let's say I wanted to just be a good old run of the mill human. You've got your standard body types. You've got your standard head types. Um, you can go through here and create the character that you want to have. Scars if you want any. Um, doesn't always need them. Complexion if you want there to be a complexion. Um, eye color, beards. some lamb chops different hair uh, doesn't look too bad might, might want to change the beard a little bit more that's not too bad let's keep ch look at the hairstyles ah that, that's more of a roguey looking guy oops I didn't mean to lock that Ooh, that's not bad either a little bit of a ponytail I could dig it change the hair color change his skin color come up with a name name of the day and that is in essence the character creation process and from here all you got to do is click play invalid name too many spaces well, let's just call him smuggy <laughs> smugged I, probably all of these are going to be taken. Oh no, Smugged was not taken. So then once you've chosen, you can get straight into the game straight away, as you'll see here. And we'll get a nice little animation sequence as your character gets introduced to a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And once you've gotten past all of that, it's time to launch into the actual game. And you'll take your new newly created character, and you'll get a cutscene based on your origin story. In this case, the smuggler is flying into Orc Mandel. Got some droids in a hangar, it looks like. Somebody working on a speeder. Some face tattoos. Comes my ship. Gotta love it. All right, Landy Ramp is down. What's up, universe? I have arrived. Can't believe you made it through that separatist shooting gallery, Captain. Your ship isn't even scratched. It takes guts landing in the middle of a battlefield. Nice flying. It's what I do. I owe it all to my lightning reflexes and crackerjack timing. Clearly had a lot of practice getting shot at. What can I say? You're not wrong. My name's Skavik. I'm picking up those blasters in your cargo hold. Excuse the rush, but I uh, need to get out of here quick. This village used to be safe, but the Separatists are taking over. If I were you, I'd hold jets as soon as we're done. Hurry up, then. The sooner this is done, the better. 
Sounds like the bombing's getting closer. The Separatists will be right on top of us any minute. Here's your payment for making this run, Captain. As soon as I have those blasters, you'll be free to fly. Skalvik, we've got a big problem. Separatists took over the local air defense cannon. Oh, slow down. Slow down, Corso. What are you talking about? They deployed some kind of remote control stations, hijacked the cannon's targeting computer. Damn Separatists just destroyed an incoming Republic transport. I'm sure the Republic troops will get everything under control. They've already got their hands full. Separatist rocket launchers just attacked a Republic walker. Knocked it down hard. With those remote control stations, the Separatists can override the air defense cannon's computer. Turn that firepower against us any time they want. That's bad news, Captain. The Separatists will blast you out of the sky even if you think about taking off. The Separatists have remote control stations all over the area. You'll probably have to hit several before they lose control of that cannon. I should charge extra for my thrilling heroics. Good luck. Hope we see you again. Let's move, Corso. We're running out of time. So that is essentially the character creation process. Now, the intro story is going to be different based on your origin story, but you're going to go through character creation, and then you're going to get a short little animation sequence like that, and then you're going to be on the starter planet for whatever your origin story is, and you go from there. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update as I continue to play Star Wars Republic and many other MMORPGs, RPGs, tabletop games, and beyond here on the channel. And if you can support, please drop a super thanks on this video or drop a membership. You can also do super thanks uh, on Super Chats, on uh, live videos and premieres. There's a Patreon page as well. All of it keeps me on the air. Thanks to those of you who can support and do support. Until ne next time, everybody, stay safe. May the Force be with you.